Hello and welcome back to Let's Play the Third Courier. And we are in East Berlin. In the gray drab East Berlin. Now what really would have been interesting is if they would have shown pictures of some of the cars that they used to drive back then. There was a car back then called a Trabant or what they used to affectionately refer to as a Trabi which was basically a two-stroke engine that left a cloud of blue exhaust and of course I have actually talked to people who had ridden in Trabis and they can attest to the fact that it gave them a headache <laughs> But um, there is a legend that these cars were actually made out of cardboard, which is actually not completely true because they were actually made out of this material called duroplast, which was actually where they took cotton or bales of cotton and then they took duroplast resin and then they made a um, sort of an, uh, a, a composite material out of the resin and that's what they used for the body and then they attached it to a metal chassis or a metal frame. Now of course these cars were really not the safest to drive because the gas tank was right above the engine. <laughs> that's like yeah, the only car I know about that has that. We had to open the hood to put gas in the car, and the gas tank is right above the engine. Anyway, I think, let's see, where are we? The old palace closed for restoration? No, what do you mean? Let's see if we can stake it out for a little bit. Nothing of note. Okay, sure. Alright, well, let's see. Charlottenstrasse. I don't think I have been down the street. Let's see. Where are we? A restaurant bar. Well, it sounds like we've got. So, what is. What's on the menu? Probably the lentils. Due to failed potato harvest that the state didn't tell us about that told us everything was fine. Oh man. Alright. Well fortunately when we threaten these drunks they leave. So alright, now it's back to Untadin Linden. Sorry, I don't know if I'm going to drink the vodka you're drinking. Uh, my break card. Yeah. Opera House. Marriage of Figaro sold out. And those muggers, even in East Berlin, they got muggers. Well, imagine that. Alright, well, let's see if we can get rid of them. Can't. Yeah, we must be back home. And I better go back and do my disarmament because I don't want to get caught by the police because they're very strict. You know what? I think I've got. There we go. Ah, you again? Alright, whatever. Drug addicts attacking them in East Berlin. Alright. Alright, well, I think the reason why they I've been attacked in this space twice is because I think there's something of note here. Notice that there is a little outdoor cafe. I think I know which one it is. I think this is called Open Cafe. Which Open Cafe it comes from Opa, which is the German word for opera, because it is the national opera and they are sold out of their tickets to the marriage of Figaro, but 
while they're waiting for the opera or after the opera, they gotta have some place to eat. So Up on Cafe, very conveniently, is located right next to the opera. Okay, well, let me see. And yeah, let's see if we can get some information about this guy. Um, alright, well, apparently not. Um, how about a million dollars? You can give me that. Alright, so right now there's really not a whole lot that we can do. Um, what is this? Old Palace again for restoration. Give it about another oh, 50 years. It'll be restored. Friedrichstraße. Go back in Friedrichstraße. Okay. I don't really know it around very well. Comic opera. What's this one? Ministry of Foreign Trade closed. Of course it's closed. What more? Trade delegation closes. They are out trading. No. I guess they would be. You give me give me money, I give you a museum. You open museum, you give me money. Uh, come on, man. Don't kill me. Alright. There we go. And you left. The Soviet Embassy. Alright. Well, one thing we can do is we can see busy place. People of all types are about. I'm sure. I'm sure. Polish embassy is closed. Oh. Okay, so we got an East German police officer. Where's my passport? Because we're visiting. East Berlin. Alright. Otto Grotewohl. Let's see. Is there anything here? Nope. Or a police officer. Alright, well, okay, I don't want to go any further because that is the checkpoint Charlie, and if I go through there, they will confiscate my weapons because they will basically search me. So really the only way that I can get back to West Berlin with my weapons and with everything else intact is by going to where we went before, which is the U-Bahn in Friedrichstraße. Uh, so what's this? Ministry of Education closed for remedial review. Oops. Wrong way now. And we are at the end of the line. We are at the Brandenburg Gate. Let's see if we've got anything. I can't stake out the Brandenburg Gate? What? No. All right. Well, I will. Go ahead and hail a cab. Head over to the U-Bahn. Head back to West Germany or West Berlin. Rather. Okay. Heading west. Gotta go and show them my papers. And we can head west. 
Gut, haben wir den Albrecht. There's Kudam. Alright. Now that we are back in West Berlin, let's go ahead and save it. So we are on, we are in Kudam. Let's see, back. Kudam. It's fine. Another fight. And what's going to happen? Of course it is. Why am I doing this? Well, these seedy characters. Man, come on, man. This is ridiculous. I just wasted a whole bunch of ammo and a whole bunch of life on killing a seedy character. Well, I think I. I'm going to take a cab back to my apartment and let's see what we can find out. Now that we've bugged Frau Fulda's apartment, and actually, before I do anything else, I'm going to see if I got any messages. Answering machine. No more messages. Okay. And you know what? It's already almost six o'clock of the second day. That is amazing. All right. Well, you know what? One thing I wanted to mention in the game too is that it actually you actually have seven full days to find the parts to the non-nuclear needer defense plans. So we are only on day two. So we've got plenty of time to find all the clues and get all the stuff we need. So, let us use... Uh, what is it? The bug recorder. That's what we need. Because we've bugged Hilda's apartment. Don't want to hurt your daddy. <laughs> I hid it in my safe at the embassy. Don't want everything to look there. No. Apparently. Yeah. Okay. Well. That is where the disc is. It is in the Soviet Embassy. Actually, before I go any further, let me use the computer again and see if I can get any more information. I should get more messages, actually. Read the emails. Actually, no new emails. Weird. Alright. Oh, you know what? I forgot. We actually have a couple more dossiers. There's Hildegard Froebel and citizenship GDR, German Democratic Republic, East Germany. File clerk in the Soviet Embassy in East Berlin. Under observation since William Martin, known to be a special friend of hers. Born GDR, February 6, 1960. Okay. So, that's where the disc is. It's in the Soviet Embassy. Now, how to get into the Soviet Embassy to get the disc? That is a good question. We are going to have to do some digging or some bribing of people. Oh yeah, before we go, Karl Heinrich. He is works in the streets, West Berlin, knows everybody, good source of information for a price, of course. Usually works as a street vendor, has been suspected of drug dealing, but nothing ever proved. Okay, well, that's good. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and cut this video short. So in our next video, we are going to do some bribing of some more people so we can get some better weapons and armor because we have got some exploring to do. And we've got, now that we know where the disc is, it is in the Soviet Embassy. 
We've got to find, figure out a way to get in there to get it. So I will talk to you next time.